What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we're back with stage 16 of the 2020 Tour de France here on PCM. Coming off the final rest day and we have a big mountain day including the Col de Porte and some other big climbs as well. Should be a big day in the GC. Let's get it. Away we go then, still in yellow and green and I think today we'll try and keep all our guys in the Peloton. I don't think Higita really can win that KOM jersey again. Not a good day for the little Colombian. So at least today we'll keep him in the peloton along with the rest of our guys. You can see Hershey, I think, is a bit too good for Higita in the mountains. So a big group up the roads early on, including the likes of Chavez, Latour, Kraut Anderson. We have Sanchez, Soler, Richie Port as well. Azim Yates, Emrick Mass, Alaphilippe. I mean, look at this group we have up the roads right here. A very very strong group, have four minutes currently. So as Richie Port and the breakaway approach the Col de Porte, we have a big gap to the breakaway, eight minutes in total right now. Um, I don't think anyone here really is a danger in the GC. We have Port at 33, Aleph Leap 23 minutes. We also have Emmerich Mass, he's well down, so it's Adam Yates. So we don't need to worry about that group in the GC. And if anything, letting go of them and giving them the stage win does mean no time gaps on the line and the finish really doesn't suit around today uh, he's not the punchiest of riders so definitely suits us letting the break take the stage oh man a real shame for us here because Sergio Hagita has gone down on this downhill can he continue yes he can unlike in real life sadly where he has had to withdraw from the Tour de France can we join the peloton just up the road so I have dropped Hugh Carthy here just to help Sergio Hagita back into this group not on the best day, but we do want him in the peloton. And there you go. These guys are now back in. The pace is nowhere and the breakaway have 14 minutes. So it's been a pretty casual day so far for the guys in the peloton. But let's put our guys right to the front of this group right now. I should have got some water. That's a mistake on my part. But I expect the race to explode here on the main climb today. 16k average of five and a half percent but that is including that little downhill so probably a lot steeper overall okay so we're starting to see some attacks and that is because Roman Bardet has just attacked from the main group so our guys moving towards the front we're in a decent position but a lot of our guys you can see really really struggling with the current tempo Bardet is caught our guys can just relay on the front at maybe 85 Iran and Martinez still in a decent enough position. Seven and a half K still to go in this climb though. Here we go again then, Bardet on the attack. And we're running out of numbers as we have big GC guys now attacking as well. Okay, so where is TJ? He's somewhere behind at the moment. That is far from ideal. So we're gonna have to rely on Dan Martinez again as most of those guys are caught. Bardet, remember, did lose time very recently. Pino, six minutes down. We can let him go. Uh, Quintana, seven minutes down. I don't mind those guys going. We have Guillaume Martin. Yes, I can pronounce his name now. Eight minutes down. We don't mind him going off the front. But most of these guys, we need to make sure don't get away. Pagacha now. Lopez, Bookman, Landa. These guys, very, very dangerous. But I think we still have Bernal in this group with us. So we need to stay steady now on this climb. We're in an elite group of 17 riders. Martinez doing a great ride to stay with Iran to this point. We have Pino and Bardet, the two Frenchmen, bridging away from this group. But still 3k to go in this climb as Roglic seems tired. We need to try and stay here if possible on 80. Let's see if we can go to the top like this. Oh my words, Egan Bernal second in GC, seemingly struggling. Right, let's put Martinez to 75. Can he bridge Iran away from Egan Bernal? Sorry for all the trees, but get blocked off by these guys absolutely horrendously right here. Martinez up to 85. Oh my words, what is going on? Can we please get through these riders here, Rigo? There you go, finally getting through them. Um, and we've dropped off Martinez's wheel. It's not ideal at all. In fact, we'll keep him here. We'll keep him here. We'll keep our guys together. I know we have a few riders up the roads, but Egan Bernal, who is currently our closest rival in GC, is behind. So this isn't too bad, despite a few riders going off the front. So up the road, battling for the stage. We have Adam Yates, Richie Port, Letsenko, and Alaphilippe trying to get back on. The stage will be won by one of those riders, I am sure. Up the roads, we have Pagacha de Moulin, Landa, Bookman, Mollema, Pino and Roman Bardet. Hopefully they do start to look at each other a little bit. 
whilst the round just sat on Martinez's wheel and Bernal in this group behind. Here he is. But sadly, Dan Martinez isn't going to be able to catch that group up ahead by himself. They are working pretty well together with the yellow jersey in some difficulty and I think we're going to be caught by the Egan Bernal group. So this isn't an ideal situation at all right here as we are now caught in this group. Hopefully some others are willing to do some work up the roads. We have Yates v Port. They look so, so tired. We'll see in a moment who takes the stage. But can we now catch this group up the road as Bernal seemingly working on the front? So up the road, we can see who is about to take the stage win. And Adam Yates just beats Richie Port. My oh my. But behind, we have attacks again. Mollema going up the road. These guys aren't too far down in GC. But I can't really work with Rego Ran as we're now seeing attacks in this group. 4K to go. I think we're going to have to now work with Rego Ran. Let's go like this if possible. Iran to 80. I think we have the energy to go like this to the line. So lucky for us that Bernal is in this group because if not, I think we'll be in severe difficulty. Can we catch those guys up the road? They have a minute right now on us. This is so unideal. And I'm going to put in a little move early on this climb with Iran. Can we bridge away? From the white jersey we're gonna try and Bernal has completely cracked today just like he did in real life on stage 15 but stage 16 in this playthrough Pagatra is going to be caught by us we have the Mulan Molima as well please don't block me Tade but up the roads Bookman making a good stage Pino Landa as well behind Rigo Aran will finish quite strongly in fairness catching the likes of Pagatra and the Mulan and of course Dropping Egan Bernal. So another pretty crazy day in the GC at this tour. But Adam Yates did take the stage ahead of the Aussie. Richie Port riding so well in real life, it must be said. Good to see him doing pretty well here. Shame he couldn't take that stage ahead of Yates, who does take his first Tour de France stage win right there. And you can see here, we do lose a little time to Bookman, Pino, Landa. Those guys weren't our main rivals coming into today because Egan Bernal loses over a minute to Rigo Aran. So in the GC, we now have about a two minute lead to Bernal. Stage 17 then up next at this tour and we have a massive decisive day in the GC, including the Col de la Loz, a massive day in the GC. Can we hold off the likes of Egan Bernal, Mikhail Landa and also Emmanuel Bookman who is riding very well as of late. But if you enjoyed today, drop a like on the video as always. Drop a sub to my channel if you're new. I will see you guys in the next one.